Modern Warfare and Warzone's story is super important for MW2. Remember, the OG Modern Warfare trilogy isn't canon. The new Modern Warfares are a different timeline. Let's start in 1981 when Adler and Bell infiltrate KGB headquarters and run into Imran Zakayev. Remember the name, it'll be important later. Fast forward to 1999, in Urzikstan, a young Farah and her family have their town attacked by General Roman Barkov. Things escalate, Farah and Hidir get captured by Barkov. Ten years later, Farah and Hadir lead a prison break with some assistance from then-Lieutenant Price. He's not a captain yet. Another ten years pass, and CIA operative Alex drops into Verdansk under the order of Kate Laswell to capture Barkov's gas. The same gas used 20 years ago on Farah and her family. They get ambushed and the gas gets captured by Al-Qatala. This leads to Price and Gaz working to find the leader of Al-Qatala, the Wolf, while Alex, Farah, and Hadir take on Barkov. Sergeant Griggs makes an appearance and Hadir betrays Alex and Farah, revealing he was the one to steal the gas to fight fire with fire and gets captured by Al-Qatala. The squad game ends the Wolf and then sets their sights on General Barkov with the help of Nikolai. But first, Price and Gaz capture Hadir and under orders from Laswell turn him over to the Russians. The squad game ends Barkov, but Alex sacrifices himself for the mission. Now you know what they say. Who is a bigger fish? Victor Zakayev, son of Imran Zakayev, takes Barkov's place, frees Hadir, and Price creates Task Force 141 to stop him. Next, we're looking at Spec Ops and Warzone stories which lead directly into MW2.